a quick preface to this uh, this video. Uh, this brand, um, it's uh, Cestrian, it's a UK brand. Uh, I guess you could call a micro brand. They're out there through uh, through Watch Nation. And uh, I did see the video, and they're dress watches. They're these two watches, the dress and the diver. Um, John's watch joint. If you want to go and check out the dress watch, go and have a look at that. I will leave a link somewhere on that for you to know. Um, but this is for the diver, and it has really, really blown me away. It's uh, not very often that happens. You know, quite often you'll have lots of hype about a watch, and when it arrives, yeah, it's all right. Um, but this, no hype. Um, but yeah, I think that they have pretty much got this one spot on. It's going to be too big for some of you guys. Uh, some of you with uh, chicken legs for wrists, but you know. Who knows what they're going to do in the future? Uh, I mean, I'd like to see them do something slightly more, but that, I'll get to that in the video. Uh, but yeah, this one is, I think, an absolute cracker. So, let's have a look at it. Let's see what you guys think too. Let me know in the comments. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side of the camera. Okay, so, Sestrian watches. Who are they? What are they about? Where are they from? So, Sestrian, here's the box. But this particular one comes in. This is a dive series. Cestrian, a uh, UK brand, uh, micro brand, I'm going to call them, um, based in uh, Chester in Cheshire. And Cestrian is where that name comes from because that is what uh, somebody who comes from that area is called. They are known as a Cestrian. So they've kept the uh, the name of the watch, the brand of the watch, yeah, but sort of denoting where they're from which i think is pretty cool so anyway this is how it comes and just an out sleeve it's a just a very standard box um padded at the top there a little wallet there which is where you get your warranty card from and it is guaranteed for two years and inside the box it just comes on a little cushion and it was wrapped in an awful lot of plastic um so yeah, there we go. That's the packaging. But the watch. So you will have seen the dress watch and you will have seen this in the beginning. And I think, as I have already said, that these are absolutely phenomenal for the money. These are their full retail prices, would you believe, £150. And I think you'll find that as we get through this, that is going to be quite phenomenal. And at the moment, you can pick them up for 135 Now the first thing um that i noticed about this why one of the reasons i thought it was so good is that it's that that initial impression when you first unwrap a watch from all its plastic and that's how this watch feels it it feels just really nice it just feels quality the, the bracelet is very nicely articulated it doesn't rattle the the play is absolutely spot on in the bracelet it's uh, it just feels good it's a good weight in the hand as well um we'll go through uh, through the dimensions uh, we'll get all that stuff out of the way uh, we've got a case size of 42.2 mil and as i said it's not going to be for those with small wrists uh but I'll come to that a bit later. We've got, including the crown, is 48 mil, so it's quite sizable. Uh, we've got a lug-to-lug -lug of a reasonably compact 48.3. We've got a thickness of 13.7, a lug width of 22 millimetres, and an overall weight on the supplied bracelet of 178 grams. The uh, uh, crystal is a sapphire crystal with AR coating. You can see it doing its job quite nicely there. We've got a ceramic bezel insert. Uh, we've got C3 Super Luminova on those indices. The indices are all applied. We'll move in on the dial and have a little bit of a closer look at that. Now this is the, uh, the Midnight Grey version. There are uh, seven different colours in total. Um, and I will put a picture up of those now, of the different colours that you can get. So they're quite a nice range. Um, but you've got on the uh, the 12 o'clock uh, applied indice is actually, that is the logo. And uh, that is matched on that crown as well, which has got, instead of just an engraved crown, it's got, uh, I guess it's almost like a, like a cabochon, is it what they call it? I don't really know. Not really that posh. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, nice 
grippy bezel there absolutely no issues with that at all um the uh all the indices as i said are applied you've got the date window which is framed at the three o'clock position cestrium which is printed dive series automatic and 300 meters which is also printed um so as i've just said 300 meters of water resistant which is Plenty. You're not going to have to worry about getting this one wet. Uh, the bezel is a 120 click unidirectional bezel. I'll be quiet so you can hear that. It's very, very nice. Minimal, minimal back play. Um, and it's uh, very difficult on camera, but there we go. It does line up very nicely. Uh, loom pip at the top there. Uh, the indices are all loom filled, as are the hands. Uh, nice hand set on this as well. I wasn't too sure about the hands when I first saw it, but once I actually saw them in person, uh, yeah, I like them. Yeah, really cool. Um, and the loom is C3 Super Luminova, and it is done extremely well. It's evenly applied, as you can see. And this is absolutely an all-nighter. Absolutely no problems with the loom whatsoever. Um, we will just zoom out a little bit and uh, have a look at the, the bracelet. Now, the bracelet uh, is polished mid-links. Um, now, I guess that's not going to be for everyone. I was a little... I'm never really a fan of particularly kind of high-polished mid-links on a bracelet on a dive watch. Uh, but because this kind of... This bracelet is very flat on the surface... Um, I think it actually it works quite well. Um, I, I, I don't dislike it at all, so that's why it stayed on this. But this being the Midnight Grey, this is an absolute strap monster. Um, nice and tight at the top here at the uh, at the end links, and they are female end links as well. Um, no rattle or bounce in there. Moving down to the clasp, it does taper down to about 20 mil. You've got the Cestrian logo on the keeper. Uh, flip that open, standard double deployment, and we have a milled inner part of the clasp. The outer shell is pressed, three le levels of micro adjust. And then you can see on the back there, we have got an exhibition case back. And uh, all your information that you need to know about the watch in there. And the NH35 Seiko movement in there. 21,600 vibrations per hour, 41 hour power reserve with hacking and hand winding and the date feature. Uh, solid end links, uh, high polished on the back of the case. The bracelet is all brushed on the inside. Um, nice snap shut on the clasp, no issues with that at all. Uh, there is no diver's extension on this, but I don't know anybody that actually uses one. Uh, the finishing on the case is done very very nicely you've got this mirror polish on the outer edge and then uh, brushing on the top and the brushing and the uh, on the top of the lugs and the brushing on the bracelet matches quite nicely and uh, the the bezel itself is high polish which matches nicely with the uh, the high gloss of the ceramic bezel insert um, uh, the bracelet is push pins um, no screw links on this uh, but I think for the money, I mean, a hun even at £150, their full retail price, if you don't get one when they're on offer, I think that it's a, it is a, an awful lot of watch for the money. And uh, you will have seen in the, be in the beginning of this video their dress watch as well, um, which uh, John's Watch Joint has uh, done a review on that, and I will leave a link to that somewhere. And thank you very much, John, for uh, letting me use some of your uh, your wrist shot footage at the beginning of the video. That was uh, very good of you. Um, but yeah, go check it out. Go check them out. If I have any complaint, if it's a complaint, um, niggle at all, it's not really about the watch. It's it's about the website. If you go on the Watch Nation website, they're, they're not actually listed. Um, if you go into to search brands, the brand is not listed. So how you're really supposed to find them, I don't know. I mean, I think that they should be shouting about these from the rooftops. The, these are, I mean, you're talking AliExpress money from a UK brand with... Um, I mean, I'll, I'll recap on the specs again because I think it's absolutely unbelievable. All 316L stainless steel. You've got uh, Seiko automatic movement. 
You've got sapphire crystal with AR coating, C3 super luminova, which is done very well, ceramic bezel insert, screw down crown. Um, on that note, the screw down crown, the crown itself is 7.8 mil. So it's a nice big chunky size, easy to get hold of. No issues with that whatsoever. Unscrews nicely, nice pop. Uh, obviously you can hand wind at the first position and then uh, bring it out all the way and the movement will hack and you can uh, change your time, which is, let's put that somewhere there. And then uh, one position so that you can scroll through your dates and no issues with that at all and screwed it back in. It's nice and smooth, no grittiness whatsoever. Um, so I have to say hats off to Cestrian, you know, top job, really, really well done. Who knows what they're going to do in the future? I know that this is going to be too big for some of you guys. Uh, the dress watch, I think, is slightly smaller. Um, so maybe that would be a way for you to go if you were going to have one of their watches. But who knows? Like I said, I would like to see, I'd love to see them do um, their take on a uh, on a vintage skin diver. Say around about so between 38 and 40 mil, maybe. I think that would be really cool. Um, but yeah. The quality of this, I, I really, it's it's difficult for me to find, to find fault. Not that I'm trying to find fault, but there's usually something. But this, for the money, it feels nice in the hand. It wears well. It, it is well put together. The really, you know, I can't really find issues. So, yes, do I recommend it? 100%. I'm, I'm not affiliated to Watch Nation or to Cestrian Watches. This isn't a paid review. Uh, the watch was, was bought and paid for. So, yeah. Um, I will leave a model number up, uh, which is the uh, CD911B0771. So, it's quite a long one. Um, but, yes, go check them out. Check out Watch Nation. Check out Cestrian Watches. Follow them on Instagram. They're both on there. And uh, go and have a look and see what they do. But uh, from me, that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and all the other good stuff and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers for now.